Welcome to day six of 12 days of Single Meshes Transforms videos and blogs. My name is Robin Moffat. I'm a developer advocate at Confluent. Today, I'm going to show you another variation of the Single Message Transform that we looked at on the first day, where we can insert fields into our messages passing through Kafka Connect, either on their way in, on ingestion through a source connector, or on their way out, down to a sync connector, down to a target technology. Let's start off with a sync connector. And here we're going to take an existing connector. In this case, it's actually a data generator. But imagine you're sourcing data from a message queue or a database or a file or any of the numerous places where you can ingest data from using Kafka Connect. So we've got our source connector, we've got our connector class and saying pull in this data. And now we want to say when this data comes in, we'd like to add another field or two fields with some hard coded information. So maybe this is the name of the system it's coming from or a particular audit thing or something that we want to add in to that Kafka message. So we're going to add in our transformation and it's going to look like this. So we're going to say add on to our existing conf configuration. We've got our transforms clause here, which says we've got two transformations we're going to add. So insert static field one and two. Insert static field one, it's got a type, which is insert field. We're going to insert a field into the value part of the message. That's what the dollar value means. And then insert field transformation, it's got lots of different variations. We'll look at some of the other ones later on. But for now, we're going to insert a static field um, and it's going to have this name. Um, and we're going to insert the value for that static field. So the source system is going to be this value here. We're going to add in a second field. So we've got our insert field here. The type of insert field is going to be static. So the field name is going to be ingest agent. And it's also going to have a value, which is this. So we're hard coding some new values into these two field names, source system and ingest agent. So we create our connector. And now we're pulling in data from our imaginary system, which in this case is a data generator. And we can go and have a look at it. So if I have a list of the topics that I've got on my system here. So Kafka Cat, if you don't use it already, go and check it out. It's superb. In this case, I'm saying go to my broker and list out the metadata that's on the broker. I'll put it as JSON. And then we pipe it through a tool called JQ, which goes through that JSON and it splits out. And it just lists the topics as a result of that. So we've got a topic here called Day 6 Transactions. And we can go and have a look at that particular topic. So I'm going to use Kafka Cat again to do that. So now we're saying here is my broker and the data is in Avro format. So we've got the schema registry and we're going to say deserialize it as Avro. And now here we say day six transactions. We have a look at that data and we can see the data. We've got the data coming from our source system here. And then we've got the actual values that we've hard coded in. We've got source system and we've got ingest agent. And if we have a look at every single value as it comes into this system, so get rid of that and just say, as the data flows through, just show me all of those messages. Let's uh, do it from the beginning. So we're doing do that here, beginning. And you'll see as those messages come in, they've got different values, but they're going to have these hard coded values uh, each time here. So the, the source data varies as each message is ingested, but the hard coded values that we've ad added on look exactly the same. Now let's have a look at what we can do with the insert field single message transform in terms of adding in information about the message from Kafka itself. So we're going to take a sync connector here. We're going to show how we can take the topic that we just populated and stream that data down to a database. I'm using a database. You could use any technology to which Kafka Connect can sync, which is many of them. But the point is, as the message comes from our Kafka topic, we're going to add in additional fields. So we can add in a timestamp. We saw that on day one. Here, we're going to add in information about the topic name, the offset, and the partition. So here's my connector, and it looks like this. We're going to say we're going to add in a transforms, and we've got three different transforms we're adding in. Now, as always, I've given it a fairly sensible label, but these are just labels. You could call it foo, bar, and wibble if you wanted to. It would probably make debugging a little bit more complicated. So insert partition, offset, and topic. Each one is an insert field uh, single message transform. Each one, we're inserting it into the value part of the message. So all that varies really is here, we've got the name of the transformation, the configuration property. We say partition field that we're going to insert is called Kafka partition. We've got here the transformation, uh, we're going to add in the offset fields, and here we're going to add in the topic field. So you could add in just the topic or just the offset, however you want to do it. And as well as inserting it into the value, we could put key there and insert it into the key part of the message. We go create that and it creates the connector. We use the Kafka Connect REST API to check the status of the connector. 
and it says the connector is running as are all of its tasks which means that if I clear the screen and head into my SQL so my SQL prompt here and say show tables we've got a table called day six transactions if I describe the schema for that table we can see we've got our additional fields in here so there's the data from the actual source system there's the fields that we inserted at ingest and now here are the fields that we've inserted at egress so if you go and look at the source kafka topic you'll see those five fields in that kafka topic but we've added in fields as it leaves the kafka topic as it passes through kafka connect sync connector we add in these additional fields using that transformation which means that if i go to the table itself and i can say select the kafka offset and the cost and the card types the data from that source system from day six transactions you can see there's the offset of the particular message and here are the fields of data from that source system so that's the insert field single message transformation we saw previously inserting the timestamp of a message into a field now today we've seen adding in hard-coded values we did that at ingest but you could also do it at egress as well so adding in things like the name of the source system or a particular value that you want to track as it passes through your pipeline and we saw also adding in names of the Kafka topic, the partition and the offset from which the particular message was read. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for lots more videos about Apache Kafka and Confluent Platform.